Well, hello out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another episode of Greg's Mowers and More. My name is Greg, and today we're on part four of the Cub Cadet 106. Um, if you haven't seen the first three parts, you might want to check them out because that's where we're at. I did do some things already. I put a brand new Kohler air filter in it. I fixed the E-clip on the throttle that fell off on me. And brand new battery. So in this episode, I think I'm going to try to fire it up and see if the repair work I did on the deck, see if the clutch will work on the engine anyway. I got the deck freed up. Everything was stuck on it. So. And uh, we're going to see just how good this cub will really run. And we're going to see if it'll actually mow after sitting all those years in all that mouse poop with a stuck valve and a blown head gasket and nasty fuel, dirty carburetor, you know, the whole myriad of things. So I think I'm going to turn the fuel on and uh, we're going to crank on this thing and see if it'll pop off for us. And if so, we're going to try to mow with it a little bit. So without further ado, oh, I do want to mention one more thing. I'll be right back. So if you guys got one of these old Kohler K series and you lose that little clip off the throttle linkage that goes to the governor, yeah, I looked on eBay and couldn't find one for under like nine or $10 for one E-clip. I wound up going to Harbor Freight yesterday. 300 piece E-clip assortment. This cost me $7. I will never have to buy another E-clip as long as I live. Look at all of them. So many different sizes can't beat that can't beat it and if you want to drop seven of them in the dirt like i did drop seven of them in the dirt like i did all right let's turn the fuel on let's see what happens here Oh, I, I'm still waiting on the choke cable to come in, so I gotta manually choke it. Which I think is that. Alrighty. We're in neutralis. Here goes nothing.
kidding you guys. That thing cuts good. Them blades were duller than a butter knife. She did a good job. Did a real good job. All right, let's go see about cleaning it up a little bit. Go and get the pressure washer dug out. the pressure washer noise but uh, she cleaned up some not like I thought she would though the hood's kind of stained and got some rust in it but she does look better letting the pressure washer run out of gas probably should have cleaned that out I don't have to do that yet all right
Wow, that old tractor. <laughs> I tell you what, it turns like a dang oil tanker, but it mows real good. Runs real good. Engine runs real good. Um, from what we started with, it's pretty good. It could still use a few things, no doubt. Some choke cable, some belts, belt tensioner for sure. But uh, it just goes to show you what you can do if you just don't get in a rush and you take your time and you pay attention to what you're doing. Um, turned out better than I expected. Much better than I expected. You know, this old girl was a mouth poop infested turd when I picked it up. I'm just going to be honest and say that's the word for it. But she's, uh, she got some life left in her, you know. Kind of like you and me. Um, we get to a point in our life sometimes where that's what we feel like. We feel like we're just turds floating around in the ocean. Not worth much anything. And then the Lord comes and he finds us right there in the middle of our mess. Just when we think things can't get any worse, boy, he comes along, he finds you, he picks you up. And he refines you and he polishes you. And just calls you a son and redeems you and saves you by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sins. That's part of the reason why I love doing this. You know, you take something that you take something that most people look at it and say, "Oh well, that's scrap metal." But then it lives again, and it wows you with how well it does. Kind of like us. How many times has somebody told you you're worthless? How many times has somebody told you that you know this is the end? Or how many times have you even thought of yourself? I've thought that more times than I can count. Oh man, it's all over with. I'm done for. This is the end. Can't get any worse than this. And then right then at the last second, the Lord swoops in and makes it all okay and, and makes a way where there was no way. And He just brings you right through. When He does that, hit your knees. Hit your knees, close your eyes, bow your head, fold your hands, and thank you. That's one of the only things he really asked for, is that we let him be in there with us and we thank him for him when he does so. And he does stuff every day for you, whether you know him or realize it or not. He's the one who created the stars in the sky and the heavens and the earth that you walk on and the air that you breathe and your very own self. The Bible says that before you were formed in the womb, he knew you. It's just simply amazing how good God is. And I pray that you would please come to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Ask him into your heart. Make him Lord of your life. Repent of your sins. Turn from him, and he will help you to get clean of him and walk away. He did it for me. I was an alcoholic for 10 years and did so many other bad things. I, I don't even want to talk about it. But he redeemed me from all of them. Every single one. I don't think I can end this video any better than that. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me bring this cup cadet back to life. Done so good. Fraggle agreed. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless you.